So Clash Royale just announced their plans for the entirety of 2023. So let's talk about it. So first things first, here's the graphic that they put out on their Twitter account. As you can see, it says coming soon, Pass Royale rework and event tab improvements, as well as seasonal currency and season shop. And then coming later, it says new gameplay features and more. And they also did a blog post in game. So we're going to go through this and dissect it. So it says coming to the game soon ish for the season overhaul. So soon ish, what does that actually mean? I was initially thinking that the first update of the year was going to be at the beginning of March. But now that it says soon ish, I think that means it will be more so the end of March. So under season overhaul, they want to do a pass royale update. This means a design rework and offering different options for different players. The variety of rewards will be increased. So different options for different players. What does that mean? It makes me think that they're going to do something more than what they have now, where there's just a free track and a paid track. Maybe there will be like three different tracks where there's like a free track a paid track and then like a super paid track or something like that i genuinely have no idea though that's just complete speculation and then the variety of rewards will be increased that's cool this makes me think that pretty much any sort of unlockable item you'll be able to get through the past royale this of course includes wild cars and keys and chests that you can already get in the past royale but also maybe stuff like boost potions and banner tokens and maybe trade tokens as well really with the past royale update i want them to structure it to be more so like the brawl pass and brawl stars the the Brawl Pass and Brawl Stars is much longer. As you can see, it is 70 tiers. But also with this, the Brawl Pass is a lot longer. And also, as you can see, there is a much wider variety of rewards. You can even get emotes on the Brawl Stars Brawl Pass, which is cool. So if Clash Royale took this model of the Brawl Pass and improved it and made it their own to fit Clash Royale, I would not be opposed to that. Then improving the events tab. Yeah, challenges definitely need an overhaul. They've been the same pretty much forever. They're going to make them more relevant by making challenges more engaging and offering better rewards. More rewards. That is a big W. We also want to make the game modes that our community hits last longer, and this is where they will live. Imagine a world where you can play Super Magic Archer all the time. But a way to do that all the time against random players across the world, I would enjoy that. But yeah, challenges rework nice seasonal currency and season shop this one is interesting to me the words currency and shop are enough to make gamers groan in disbelief that is for sure especially the clash royale community people do not like spending money in this game they want everything to be free to play and benefit them yada 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 our plan is to create a seasonal currency that you can earn through challenges this can then be spent in the seasonal shop on items you want that's actually that's not bad i think this little rune right here is what they mean by currency and you can like get these through challenges and spend them and stuff no more eight win gold chest yet and then there is the new gameplay element now this is what has garnered the most controversy so first things first on the twitter post when they have new gameplay they have this right here which looks like a dark elixir blob from clash of clans so that might make you think they're doing a dark elixir bar where there's like a new rarity of troops that take dark elixir and have different mechanics and stuff like that you know that could be pretty cool for sure but then here is what has gotten people really mad this new gameplay layer will come side by side with a new card level 15 and will affect the whole host of cards on launch and the fact that they're thinking about adding a card level 15 that has made the community really upset and to be honest it kind of makes me upset as well when they added level 14 for champions i didn't think that was a totally bad idea and at the end of the day it ended up working out just fine but it's been less than two years since we've had level 14 so why are we doing level 15 this soon here is my message to the clash royale team if you're listening to this video please take this message into consideration if you are going to add new gameplay mechanics please add it and incorporate it with the system and levels that we already have in the game 14 levels is plenty we do not need any more whatever you want to do do it with what we have and it seems like it will be a cool feature you can unlock new powers for your favorite cards that's awesome. Kind of makes me think of something like star powers or gadgets from Brawl Stars. But if you are going to do something that is that cool, allow more people to be able to access it. Do not limit it to just max level players and don't add another level that is max level. Okay? If they add another level, it genuinely concerns me. The last thing that this game needs is another level. New gameplay mechanics are great. They're awesome. But do not put it behind a new level please um but that's pretty much it for the blog post and everything that they've said the video i had planned for this week was actually my own update predictions video but i had to completely scrap that because of this roadmap so instead i just made a brief reaction to the roadmap let me know what you think about all of this in the comment section down below and i can provide some feedback to supercell but that's gonna be it for me i'll see y'all in the next one